100 years ago, an esteemed companion of the promised Messiah, alayhi salatu wasalam, Hazrat Mufti Muhammad Sadiq, razi Allah ta'ala anhu, started the first publication of an Islamic magazine in America. This would become a beacon of light for the spiritual seekers and pious people of this land. It left a great impact on the inhabitants of this nation by portraying the peaceful message and unifying pious souls under the banner of Islam. This is the story of the Muslim sunrise. In January 1920, on the instruction of Hazrat Khalifatul Masih II, رضي الله تعالى عنه, Mufti Sadiq Saib was sent on a mission to portray the message of Islam Ahmadiyyat and establish a mission in the country. He set sail from Liverpool, England for America aboard the SS Haverford. Ever eager to spread the message of Islam and Ahmadiyyat, Sadiq Saib converted several people while aboard the transatlantic voyage itself. Finally, After a 20-day journey on February 15, 1920, the missionary of Islam arrived at the port of Philadelphia. Initially, Sadiq Sahib was denied entry on the basis of believing in polygamy. He appealed and was held in a detention center in Gloucester, New Jersey until his case could be reviewed by authorities. After spending about two months in detention, Sadiq Sahib won his appeal and was released, making America's largest city, New York, his initial base of operations. Over the next year, he traveled the country, delivering some 50 lectures in New York, Chicago, Sioux Falls, and other cities. He also wrote numerous articles for newspapers, large and small, including the New York Times. The 1800s witnessed technological revolutions that made printing accessible and led to an increase in the number of newspapers, magazines, and faith-based publications worldwide. Sadiq Sahib generated a great deal of press both as a subject of articles and interviews and as a writer. However, he felt that the community needed its own publication for three primary purposes. To defend Islam and the Muslims. To prove the truthfulness of Islam. And to report on the mission's progress. It could not have been an easy task to launch an English-language periodical in the United States. Firstly, Sadiq Saib arrived in America virtually penniless. And secondly, running a magazine was not a solitary endeavor. But by the grace of God, both these difficulties were resolved through the propagation of Islam. Spending a year touring the country to lecture on Islam led to converts and funds. Sadiq Sahib gathered contributions, honoraria, and advanced magazine subscriptions during his mission work, managing to save the $300 he would need to publish the first issue. New converts then helped Sadiq Sahib prepare content for the magazine. Early Ahmadi Muslims would contribute articles and poems for future installments too. On Friday, June 24th, 1921, Sadiq Sahib published the inaugural issue of the Muslim Sunrise, dated July 1921. In a special message for this inaugural issue, Hazrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad رضي الله تعالى عنه addressed not the general public, but rather converts to Islam in America, dubbing them pioneers in the spiritual colonization of the Western world and calling upon them to work with love, zeal, sincerity, and loyalty. In a letter to the Al-Fazl, Sadiq Saib wrote that he hoped that this magazine would help manifest a prophecy of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam that in the latter days, the sun would rise from the West. Indeed, The first issue carries an Arabic title, Shamsul Islam, or the Son of Islam. 
In early covers, this son of Islam is depicted as rising over the heartland of America. The magazine began quarterly, but Sadiq Saib hoped that it would eventually become a monthly magazine. A year into publication, it was decided that the Muslim Sunrise and the Review of Religions should be combined, likely to avoid duplication of effort and save on printing costs. Both would be edited by Hazrat Molvi Muhammad Din Razilatala Anho, the second missionary to America. Ultimately, the magazines were not combined, with the review serving as a global English language organ of the community and the sunrise focusing primarily on the United States. In 1924, Molvi Muhammad Din Razilatala Anho left America, and the Muslim sunrise halted publication. Finally, in 1930, due to the generosity of Muslims in Indiana and Illinois, the third missionary to America, Sufi Matiur Rahman Bengali Sahib, who had arrived in 1928, was able to resume publication, and ever since, it has continued regularly. This magazine had an immense impact in America. Just a few to point out. Speaking for Islam, the immediate effect of the Muslim sunrise was to establish a forceful presence of an Islamic organization in the United States. It filled a vacuum in responding to the attacks on Islam in the American press. The Muslim sunrise became a beacon of light for the seekers. Building Community the magazine brought together converts from diverse backgrounds scattered across the country, providing them with a national mouthpiece that helped explain and promote their new faith. Tackling Racial Inequality Just 60 years removed from the Civil War, America remained deeply divided along racial lines in the 1920s. Even those with the same religion but different races did not mingle with one another. The Muslim Sunrise tackled the segregation head-on, promoting Islam's teachings on racial equality. This magazine continues to thrive today with the same objectives and purposes and strives to be the fulfillment of the prophecy of the Holy Prophet that the sun will rise from the West.